I, I don't think so, because for the first hour that I was watching, um, West Indies was looking good. I don't think um, Pakistan threw away the game. I think West Indies play well. I mean, they won the first game. Um, they're on a roll right now. They're playing good, so I don't think uh, they were lucky. I don't think luck comes up that much in, in 50 over game. Maybe 2020, uh, where you could <laughs> throw away the game in one over, but um, I don't think so. Yes, in the end, in my estimation, Basil and to Dobro seven and so on. In the end, it came close because West Indies played poorly. At 182 for three with Stephanie and Sherman, Sherman Camber batting well, a shady nation. We should not have allowed lose those two wickets so quickly. After nation out, I really think Stephanie should, should not have gotten out then. But even then, Stephanie got out at 206 for five. But even then, Alia Alain, Chanel Henry, Huffley Fletcher, they all played poor shots. And that's what got it down to there. Although it was a lucky hedge from Ramarak, really and truly, if we had played sensible cricket, I don't think there would be any doubt that we appears at this time to be better than this Pakistani team. So while in the end, West Indies women were lucky, I don't think overall we were lucky. I think that we all played them. What, what's your reaction to that comment, Andre? I totally agree with you. As I was looking at, I actually saw the, the latter part of the game. And, you know, we were cruising at that point. And we had Stephanie Taylor was very much in, you know, and we were pretty much cruising 205 for, 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 for five, really. So we, if I, I think West Indies, the, the, the ladies just panicked at the, the, the back end. That is why it, it, it seemed a bit closer than it should have been. I thought it was some cool part of the West Indies. I go through with you. Okay. Uh, th thank you very much. Basil, uh, Dobros. So, Carlton, I go think you're mischaracterizing my comments. I never said Pakistan, West Indies were lucky. I said what you saw was West Indies lower batters with their poor approach to batting that made the game what it what it um what it came down to but having said that pakistan would feel on um would feel hard done from this perspective their best bowler was bowling to an ordinary batter and bring it down to the last ball and lose the game with three runs to three runs to, to win the game you would expect fatima to keep to keep Ramra quiet, not to, not for that result to happen. And as you described the shot, the ball hit the edge and went for four. So it wasn't even a convincing stroke. So they would feel hard done. But I, I'm not going to say that um, Wesley's were lucky because, as I said, their typical collapse was what occurred. And that's what I said. that is what I said. I ain't saying nothing about lucky. 